have to have patience. Patience is key. Patience is a virtue. I am I am so impatient. I'm just now learning to be patient. So This is your girl Pitala Binks and welcome back to another video. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell as to whenever I upload a video. It's been a long time since I made a vertical video so I thought to do this for you guys. Um, and also keep it short, quaint, and simple. This was also my mom's idea so today we're going to talk about a bird nest. Life is like a bird nest. You have to prepare in order to leave the bird nest. You have to gather your strength, gather your intelligence, gather your speed, gather your wits before you get out the bird nest. Also, you have to go with a leap of faith to leave that bird nest. A lot of us nowadays don't have a leap of faith when it comes to life, goals, um, respecting ourselves, taking a decent journey for ourselves. So it's time to get out of that bird nest and fly away. I know it's a bit scary, but we all are scared, but guess what? You're not alone. Everything's okay. A lot of times when we leave the um, bird nest, it is a bit scary only because we don't have our parents or maybe our loved ones to hold our hand or guide us anymore. But we do have God and we do have faith and we do have to have a little speck of belief. A little speck of belief or faith as a mustard seed. Just that tiny little bit of like faith in us and ourselves to actually say hey I can do this and life is just like a bird nest because there's a lot going into that bird nest before you actually put yourself out there there's learning about the a b's and c's there's learning about money there's learning about numbers there's learning about people keep that in mind you have to learn and know your people you have to learn and know yourself you have to learn and know your worth. What What's your purpose? What are you here for? What are you trying to achieve? I agreed to talk about this topic from my mom because I think it's very important, especially with it being the new year. Whether you're going through a hard time still or whether you're being, you know, successful or whether you're just in between. I just want you to know that you're not alone. Um... I'm a former Mississippian, I always will be a Mississippian, you know. And in Mississippi, everyone knows how hard it is to just get yourself out of this so-called bird nest. And only thing I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm 23, I'm going to tell you that it's okay if you want to stay in that bird nest for as long as you want. Don't feel peer pressure to leave. Don't feel forced to leave. You leave when you're ready, when you're prepared, when you're fully ready inside and out. Don't don't rush to leave that bird nest. Take as much time as you want because life is going to continue to progress whether you do or not. Also, not just to be a part of Mississippi, but everyone that's from, whether you're in the States or out of the States, whether you're in the UK, India, Mexico, um, whether you're from China, I don't care where you are right now. I know it's hard. I know it's really hard. And I wish I can give you guys a hug if I was there. But just know I'm praying for you guys. It's a new year. We're going to get out this bird nest. But one thing's for certain, we are going to take as much time as we need to get out of this bird's nest because God is going to guide us this whole year. He's always guiding us, but I pray you guys um, have the patience to just say, not right now. You know, I need a little bit more, a little bit more learning. I need to have a little bit more in-depth experience with myself and my surroundings and my people and you know just actually understand things before you actually put yourself out there the harsh reality of living in a bird nest is going to be the fact that you think everything's easy because the bird nest is a shelter for safety you also have to prepare yourself within that bird nest that just because you're safe doesn't mean that you're actually safe it's the same thing when you go inside with the real world you may think it's safe, but oh boy, I didn't realize until I turned 21 that 
It's not safe. You have to be quick-minded. You have to pick up things where they're not supposed to be picked up. You have to know when everything is right or wrong. You have to stay prayed up. You have to believe in yourself because a lot of times people are not going to believe in you. But as long as you believe in yourself, that's all that matters. And, you know, you just have to have patience. Patience is key. Patience is a virtue. I am I'm so impatient. I'm just now learning to be patient. So, like... If I could go back in time, I would cherish the little time I had. Because we never know when we're going to grow up. It happens just like that. And now that it happened, it's just like, can I, can I go back? Can, can I deal? Can I deal? You know what I'm saying? Is <laughs> I can't deal. Like, I got to keep moving forward. And that's how I feel when it comes to, like, being in the bird's nest. Like, it's going to be a time where you feel like I'm ready. Just be patient. You're going to know. You are going to know as a person that you're ready to leave that bird's nest. Don't let anyone pressure you into saying it's time for you to go. It's time for you to get your own. It's time for you to get your own thing going on. Like It's time for you to get your shit together. You can do all of that while being in the comfort of your own zone, the comfort of your own space. You can do all of that. So be patient and be mindful as to whenever you're ready to leave. Because once you leave, you got to keep moving on. Keep going. Again, like I always tell you guys, I'm 23. What do I know? You know, what What do I know? I only know the basics. I'm still learning every day, every minute, every second. There's a lot of things I'm still learning. And just like me, I feel comfortable to an extent. But um, like I mentioned in this video, you will know as a person. No one else knows you more than you. God and you know when you're ready, okay? So don't feel bad just because you're probably staying with your mom and dad. Don't feel bad because you didn't get that new car. Don't feel bad because you didn't get that house right off. Don't feel bad because you didn't get a certain job. Don't feel bad because you didn't get a business together. Don't feel bad because you're not married. You don't have any kids. You don't have a 401k. You haven't invested any money. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Because we're all in the same boat, honey. And one thing is for certain... It ain't going nowhere. Cherish the time that you got because you can't get it back. What I'm saying, folks, is, you know, cherish the time that you have with yourself. A lot of times we worry about the goals that we're, that we're trying to achieve, what we're trying to see, what we're trying to do. And like I always tell people, cherish the little time you got because time is inevitable. Time is just, time is predictable as hell now. Um... It can come and go quickly. And you're just wondering like, damn, I was just here yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, cherish that time you got. I see so many adolescents that are younger than me, you know, so ready. And I'm just like, girl, if only you knew half of the stuff that I've learned and other people have learned that are older than me, you wouldn't be saying that. You wouldn't be wishing that I want to grow up so quickly. So, um, yeah. Don't leave your bird nest. Take all the time you need to be ready to leave. So shout out to my mom again. Shout out to Carolyn, you guys. You know, this is her second idea for a video. Uh, she be giving me ideas. The snack review when the um, Japanese review when the makeup thing and her motivation videos are literally her ideas. Um, I but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this concept, this video. I hope it reached out to anyone out there that needed this motivation. I really do. And please use it. Please use it. Because I mean it. Don't let anyone peer pressure you into doing anything you're not ready to do. Anything. And if they're making fun of you, trust me. I bet they're in the same boat. Believe me. They are. You're just trying to make themselves feel better. But that's okay because we're human. That's okay. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. And like I always say, be safe. Bye.